Right, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Photopea and the Clipping Mask tool to create a collage of all your lovely photographs. So the first thing you need to do when you open up Photopea is to go to New Project, um, go to Print and choose A4. It doesn't really matter the size because you're going to crop it down a little bit later anyway. Then you're going to build up um, a grid pattern, if you like, of shapes that you're going to put your photographs into. So I'm going to go down to the rectangle tool on the left hand side, there it is, and I'm going to drag on a rectangle there, and then I'm going to go to File, Open and Place, not Open, Open and Place, okay? And I'm going to find my first picture that I want to appear in the grid. Okay, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. If I move it about and just and show you where it is, and just sort of place it on top of that square. Okay, I can then right click on it and go to click clipping mask. I'll show you that again over here on the layers. There's the layer with the photograph in, there's the layer with the rectangle in, but on the layer with the photograph, I'm going to right click and go to clipping mask and it's clipped that photograph to the rectangle that is beneath it or the, it's a square shape and I now have a photograph clipped into that shape so I'm going to draw another rectangle okay I'm just going to position that so it's in line with the other one and then I'm going to go to file open and place again I'm going to go file open and place and I'm going to find the next photograph so here's the next photograph, I'm going to position that on top of my, my rectangle, make it a little bit smaller, position it there. Then over in the layers panel, there's the layer with that photograph in it, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to clipping mask and it's clipped it. Now if you do a clipping mask and you, you're not sure that you've positioned the picture in the right place, you can still move the photograph about within that square. Okay, you can actually still make it uh, bigger or smaller. And the final thing I want to show you is that you can actually still move the entire thing, but you have to have both the photograph and the rectangle selected. So for that, I'm going to click on control on my keyboard and I'm going to click on the shape beneath it. So I now have both layers selected. I can then move both layers and position them elsewhere on the page so you can still make changes to your grid pattern even after you've done the clipping mask okay so the final thing i'm going to show you is how to create a really cool title for your your grid pattern so imagine you've created a little collage of images images and you now want to create a nice title for them well i'm going to create a title um for these images of cuba but i'm going to do something really cool and i'm still going to use the clipping mask to do it i'm going to open up a picture File, open and place. And I'm going to choose this lovely picture again, taken as a screenshot from Google Street View. And I'm going to use that as, as the text, well, to color in the text. And then I'm going to type on top of it. Um, and I'm going to make sure that the type is quite big. So I've already set that to 600. And also make sure that the type is quite quite chunky so I've scrolled through the different font styles and I found a chunky font called distant galaxy that's quite cool and I'm going to use that one to type so Cuba then I'm going to position it into the sort of over that over that bit of picture there but over in the layers I'm going to drag the text layer below the photograph and then I'm going to right click on the photograph and go to clipping mask and there you have it, a really cool effect where I've got the text displaying up or I um, mean clipped to the photograph underneath it. So again, if I want to move both of those, I press control, both layers selected. Oops, I've unselected that. Control, both layers selected. And then I can position that in a better, better place. And I want you to just imagine now that I have six photographs all nicely in a grid pattern and I've got the word Cuba underneath. I'm now going to crop the whole thing, start up there, and I want you to imagine that I've filled in that top space with six 
photographs and that would be a really nice collage of images with a nice title. Have fun!